Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, I am going to tell you about ICSE Mathematics Today Chapter 8 Algebraic Expressions. So friends, without wasting any time, let's get started. Now, what are algebraic expressions? What basically are these ex type of expressions? Now, to know more about these type of expressions, we have to know about some uh, few things, right? Friends, now first thing we need to know about is variables and this is ES and con uh, constants, right? So these are the two things which we need to know about an algebraic expression. Algebraic expression is mainly made up of these two things only. Suppose I take an expression here x plus 7. In this, you can see what is a variable. Variable is an alphabet which is not having a fixed value. In this expression, uh, what things value we don't know. The value of x, right. So, this is our variable here. It is alphabet, we don't know its value. So, this is a variable. Alright, and this 7 here, which is after plus, right. So, this is a constant. Constants always have a fixed value, right? It it can be any number like we write 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. Okay, and it is always written after a plus or a minus sign, right? So, it is always written after a plus or a minus sign. But sometimes you can get expressions like 7x here. There is no plus sign, no minus sign. So, what to do in this case? Again, x is our variable here, clear. And friends here, we will see one thing new, that is coefficients. We will see about numerical coefficients and literal coefficients. Alright, so first of all, the numerical coefficient. Suppose this is my expression. In this, the numerical coefficient will be what? This. It will be this 7, right? This is going to be my numerical coefficient. How? See, if for the numerical coefficient, we hide this variable. You see 7 is the number only. So, the number that is the numerical coefficient. Literal means variable. So, varial, variable coefficient will be this x here, right? So, this is coefficient. And now, we will know about what are terms in an expression and also the factors in an expression. So, it is very simple. Suppose, I have another expression. 4x squared plus 5xy. Suppose, we have to divide this into terms and into factors. We have to tell. So, what are the terms? What are the different terms in our expression? So, first of all, the terms. Terms are 4 x to the power 2 or squared and we have 5 x y. Friends, here you can see for just very simple terms are basically the uh, you can see the expression here. You can see this variable part and the number here are separated by this plus sign. Terms are always separated by our plus sign only. So, you need to know one thing that expressions are made up of terms. This is clear. And friends, what are terms made up of? Terms are made up of factors. They are made up of factors. And what are the factors in a term? Suppose this term only if I take here. Right. The factors of this 4x upon uh, 2. So, alright. We know the terms. Now we will see the factors. So, there can be three factors in this. So, you can mention it over here, factors and what are they? First of all, for a factor, you can see we basically have to single-handedly write down all the constants and the variables in a term. So, for this one, we have 4 first, then x squared. This means x into x. This means x into x that is equal to x squared, right? So, you can write here x two times or you have to write it. So, this is how we have written the factors of this term. This one, so again, 5 first of all, this will be a factor. x also will be a factor and y also will be a factor because all these three combine together 
and the uh, this these are making our term and this this term is making this expression all right on to the next one so we have likes and un, uh, like and unlike terms so like and unlike terms as well in this what we're going to see is now what are like and unlike terms suppose i have already told you about terms and now we'll see about like and unlike terms now suppose i write a term here 3x plus 4x this is my expression in this what you see this uh, 3x and 4x are having same variables x here right this is the simplest example that is they are having same variables x here so this means they are like terms why so because like term is a term in which the variable part of all of the terms in an expression is the same now suppose here i write 3xy plus 7xy minus uh, let us write 5xy again right so in this what you see all the three terms all the three terms here are what like terms because they are having the same variable part all right and suppose here if i change one variable suppose i remove this y from 7 then what are the like terms in this like terms will be 3xy and uh, minus 5xy in this only why not this 7x because you see that this is xy this is xy but this is x only here so we need to have another y here to turn this term into a what like term so this is a like term in which what the variable part of a term is not the same so you see in here all the three terms are given the variable part of all the three terms is not the same at least one is different here so this means there is this like unlike term and the rest two are our like terms let us move on to the next topic now we move on to the next one which is types of terms basically that is monomials binomials trinomials and polynomials right so first of all we will see what are monomials or right, what are monomials monomials are basically simple term okay just one single term that's it but friends you have to watch out for one thing here as well that is in monomials a variable cannot have a power of more than one and also you cannot put a variable in the denominator column in a monomial so you suppose i write an example here uh, let us say 2x right uh, 4xyz all right like this all of these are monomials but what are not monomials are suppose if i write 2x to the power 2 this is not a monomial and if i write uh, 2 upon x to the power 2 this is also not a monomial right so these examples like these are monomials just that simple now what are binomials this one is even simple so basically in monomials we had one term in binomials we have two terms right so suppose i write uh, let us say 2x minus x all right this one is a binomial and suppose if i write 4 uh, 4y minus 3y all right all of these when in which you see there is a minus or a plus sign suppose this is plus so they are separated by this and you find two terms in an expression that is an expression which is having binomial in it okay now we come on to the trinomials and what are trinomials trinomials are basically expressions with three terms in them so you can write over here 2x plus 4x plus 3xy right like this this is also an example of a trinomial only in which you can see uh, that this 2x plus 4x plus 3xy all of these are three terms connected together with these two minus sign a uh, plus signs now we have in last polynomials 
राइट सो पॉलिनोम इज बेसिकली वॉट द सम और अ डिफरेंस ऑफ मोनोमियल्स दैट इज नोन एज अ पॉलिनोमियल सो यू कैन टेक एनी थिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू एक्स प्लस फोर एक्स और राइट एंड एटसेट्रा एट एटसेट्रा आर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ पॉलिनोम राइट सो दीज आर द टाइप्स ऑफ टर्म्स एंड नाउ वी विल सी द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज डिग्री ऑफ एन एल्जेब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन वॉट इज द डिग्री ऑफ एन एल्जेब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन सी सपोज आई हैव अनदर मोनोमियल हियर राइट फोर पी टू द पार क्यू सॉरी पावर टू एंड क्यू टू द पार थ्री टू फाइंड द डिग्री ऑफ एन एल्जेब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन हियर ओके ना वॉट विल डू इज वी विल एड द पावर और यू कैन सी दीज नंबर्स ओवर हियर राइट दिस we add these numbers to get the uh, degree of our expression so uh, so you write here degree becomes what 2 plus 3 that is 5 right so 5 is the degree of this expression when you add 2 and 3 you get 5 right when there is no number written on the variable then what are we going to add in it so you see this p is having no number written on it what does this indicate this indicates that this is having a power of 1 basically what is a power is if it is having power of 3 so this becomes q into q into q right and if it is having a power of 1 then it's simply p only right so basically generally we don't write this 1 here it's just simply the variable but actual power of the variable is 1 then you add this as well so you get Four as the degree of your expression, and if we have multiple terms in our expression, like suppose let me tell over here, like I have a binomial, for example, four x to the power two, y to the power three plus three uh, a to the power four x to the power five. So what will be the degree here of the expression? I am asking. so degree of the expression will be the degree of the term with the highest degree out of these two terms so degree of this term will be 2 plus 3 5 degree of this term will be 4 plus 5 9 so which one is greater 9 all right so you write this as the degree of your entire expression that is the both of these ter uh, terms combined so degree will be this 9 all right and friends this is all for today If you are new to my YouTube channel do not forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon down below so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video also leave a like on this video till then bye bye